Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So um, I haven't done an update in over three weeks now, so I do apologise about that. Uh, but we're on the 13th of June now, so uh, early summer. Uh, my last update was late spring. So as you can see uh, behind me, everything's gone absolutely crazy now. Everything's growing away like mad. Uh, so I thought it was about time that I'd give you an update. Because uh, I've just been out here cracking on, uh, planting things, doing bits and bobs, and I keep forgetting to do videos. So uh, today's just a really quick update on everything that I've got growing in my garden. So if you want to join me today for a tour, uh, that'd be fantastic. Stay tuned. Uh, I'll flip the camera around and we'll make a start. Okay, so let's head into the pitch garden and... Have a look what's going on. So, um, as you can see, everything's growing well. Um, I've planted a lot more stuff that I haven't updated you on. Um, so, these are the strawberries. Uh, we planted these in the previous video. So. Uh, they've all recovered nicely and we've got lots of nice little strawberries starting to develop on here. So hopefully it won't be long till my first strawberry harvest is here. Uh, as you can see some of them um, starting to go a bit brown. Uh, I'll just take them ones off. Uh, it's normally because of excess moisture, uh, too humid. But not to worry, uh, if we lose a few that's fine. Um, my elephant garlic keeps getting trampled by the animals, so that's not looking too great. And a few of them have been snapped and stuff. And I've got to get in here and do some weeding. Uh, the beetroot I sowed along here is doing well. And the other day I put in uh, the ones that I grew in the cells, I put them in here as well. And I've got two rows of carrots here as well. Uh, which are doing well. So I sowed these directly, these carrots, and I'm not going to thin them out. I'm just got to let them grow and do their thing. And the marigolds, which I've been planting um, as sacrificial marigolds to attract the slugs, uh, it seems to be working well. As you can see, they're still getting a bit battered by the slugs, but I do come out every now and then and pick off as many as I can and I've also planted some of my sunflowers around you'll notice and um, these are dotted around throughout the veg garden and the peas at the back there uh, I've had to add a few more runs of wire along there but they're all climbing up well and this whole area here is all potatoes so these ones are my pots here and along the front here are the first earlies two different varieties of first early can't remember the varieties and at the back there are my main crop all planted in the ground and again planted more sunflowers in there and when i was in the shop a little while ago picked up a couple of pumpkin plants and I've just stuck them in uh, they seem to be doing okay going a bit yellow so we may need to feed these but the new growth looks fine in the middle there uh, the variety of these ones is Halloween so we'll see how they go again more sunflowers loads of weeds along here um, I've kind of just been letting this go to see what comes up and there's a fair few potato plants coming up um, I'm not sure if they're from seed or leftover potatoes from the year before um, there's some of them, they start off quite small so I've got a feeling these might be from the little seeds uh, that potatoes produce a bit like tomatoes if you've ever seen a potato fruit, uh, you can't eat them, but 
uh, they do produce seeds and you can grow them from seed um, here more marigolds uh, I've had to replant a couple of these because they got munched uh, before I could get in but they're doing well got the first flowers waiting to open there and my row of sunflowers here again I've had to add another run of wire and they're starting to get quite, quite tall now we've had a few nibbles on these at least there's been chewed along there by slugs uh, we just take the whole leaf off yeah, it won't affect the plant at all again you can see here where something's munched it um, but should still be fine that's the sunflowers along there doing well and all my spare sunflowers and spare marigolds are just in here for now uh, I've had to repot the sunflowers and uh, these ones here look like they're desperate for a drink so I'll come out here in a bit and I'll water these uh, but these were leftovers and I haven't planted these anyway yet so I need to get them in soon uh, same with the marigolds and um, surprising how big they can get in these little tiny pots Yeah, it looks like they've got a flower soon if I leave them in there. Yeah. They'll do much better if I put them in a bigger pot or in the ground. Uh, again, another couple of sunflowers dotted around there. And I keep steaming the soil from in here. Uh, that's what I used to fill the potato tubs up with. Uh, that there is um, a couple of lavender plants in there, if you're wondering what that is. Uh, my rhubarb didn't really do much, uh, but if you remember, we did have to transplant this, so that's probably set it back a bit. And it looks like um, flea beetle or something's attacking it. Uh, but to be honest, I've just about given up on it. But I'll leave it there, and we'll see see what it does. Uh, my artichoke, uh, which I bought at the end of last year. Looks like it's doing well in the ground here. Got a flower head there waiting. So these get really big. And I'm not sure if the yellow in leaves is just the older leaves dying off or some sort of nutrient deficiency. So, uh, but we'll see how it goes. Um, those two there are my peach and nectarine, which have uh, died by the looks of it. Uh, I'm just going to leave them there, see what they do. All my fruit bushes down there, and trees. And I can actually see a few red strawberries down there, so I'll take you down there in a minute. But I'll just show you this bed here quick. This is full of onions and garlic, the odd sunflower. And there's some leeks down there which have gone to seed now. Uh, my garlic's not looking too great. Um, but I'm sure it'll be fine. We should still get a harvest off of it. Same with the onions. Um, they're looking okay. Some of them are looking like they're getting pretty big. Uh, but we just get these droopy leaves. And I have checked to make sure there's no um, leaf miners. And I can't see anything. So some varieties just flop over. Uh, but I'm sure they'll be fine. We'll see how they go. It doesn't help that the animals keep coming in here and trampling them. You can see them ones down the bottom there have been trampled by something. And the leeks here have all thickened up and started going to seed, so I might have to pull them up soon. And the garlic in here. Again, a few more sunflowers in here. And all my trees down the middle there. Uh, but I'll show you them on a separate video. This is just a fruit and veg update video today. Left of our cats over there. Trampling things. <laughs> Anyway, 
anyway, I'll take you on to the fruit section. So this one here is a goji berry. Bought this last year. And it looks to be doing really well. It's only in a little pot at the moment, so need to upgrade that pot soon. And there's a random potato coming up there. The amount of potato plants I've pulled out this year. They're just coming up all over the place. And I can't see any little potatoes on them, so I think these have grown from seed from my compost. And the figs have finally come out to leaf. So I've got two of these figs. Originally these were cuttings three or four years ago. And I leave them out all year. Um, I could put them in the greenhouse. Uh, just to get them to leaf out earlier, but I'm not too worried as long as they survive. Uh, this here was a new blueberry plant I got last year, so I don't expect too much from this this year, but it has got a couple of blueberries. Not many, but you don't expect much from the for the first year or two uh, when you get new plants like this. Um, grapevine there which I thought might have died uh, is definitely not dead something's been nibbling it though just noticed don't know what that is slugs or caterpillars the main culprits yeah, but that's looking good anyway not sure on the variety of this one because yeah, I've got given this one yeah, that there is my pear tree, which was new end of last year, uh, which has done really well. It's looking really nice and healthy, that one. And my windberry, or wineberry, windberry. So, I have a feeling this is a bit like a blackberry crossed with something. Uh, it's called a Japanese windberry. Um, it has like raspberry, blackberry type berries on it, I believe. And there is a few flowers up here, which will be the fruit soon. Let's see how they go. Uh, this here is another grapevine. Uh, this one was actually grown from seed about two or three years ago now. So it's starting to thicken up at the bottom there. But we haven't had any grapes on it yet. And I can't see any forming this year, so uh, we might have to wait till next year for that one. And that's plum tree there. Again, that was a new addition last year. And it's doing really well. And we actually have got a couple of bums on this. One there. One there. Literally only a couple. And maybe one or two more somewhere. But oh, there's another one there. So that's three. Yeah, considering this was the first year and it was bare rooted, um, I didn't expect to get anything off of it. So I'm happy with three. <laughs> Uh, this was my new apple tree last year. A couple of apples on here, not many because it was new. Oh, I'll just knock that one off. Never mind, that probably would have fell off on its own anyway. That's looking like it's doing well. So this year it will just do growth. Um, we won't get any fruit on it, I wouldn't have thought. Occasional one or two apples, maybe, but so most of them will fall off. Uh, but we don't really want it to fruit yet, we want it to grow a bit more and get a bit healthier. Uh, the next tree along here is my cherry tree, Stella, I think it was. So I can't remember the variety, I've got that label down there. Uh, sunburst is a variety on that one. And again, it's a relatively new tree, so don't expect to get fruit this year. And I haven't 
I did see some blossom, but it just falls off without developing because the tree's not strong enough to support the fruit, so it'll just do another year's worth of growing this year. All these planters along here are all strawberries. And actually, by the looks of it, we've got some pretty much ready here. And for the first time ever, I can't see any slug damage. There is a mouldy one there. Though. If if you come across one like this, just get rid of it. Don't leave it on there because it will encourage the rest of them to go mouldy. There's no one there. Uh, it just happens from high humidity. Uh, if they've had a bit too much water or something. But we've had quite a lot of rain, so... These are almost ready though, some of these. I have to try and beat the wildlife to it. Stinging that was growing up through the middle of these. So if you get them by the stem, they tend not to sting you. But sometimes they'll get you still. But your fingers kind of get used to it. A few more strawberries down there. I'll have to come back out here later and get these off. Otherwise, I expect they'll be bunched by the morning. Uh, this one here. Is my kiwi vine, which I'm really hoping is going to actually produce some kiwis this year. So I've had this almost three years, and it's got bigger and better every year. There's still no fruit on it. And it's a really nice plant. I like watching this grow. It grows so fast. Big velvety leaves. That must be about seven foot tall already. Oh, this from there. That's last year's vine. From there up to the top there, almost a metre. Uh, it has grown so far this year. <laughs> and the next one on is another grapevine. Chardonnay, this one. Uh, these are white grapes. And we've actually got a fair few little bunches of grapes starting to develop actually there'll be flowers first then the flowers will get pollinated and every one that gets pollinated will be a grape so each one of these little balls here will turn into a flower then turn into a grape if it gets pollinated if it doesn't it will just fall off uh, but if they're outside the chances are they will be pollinated so there's a fair few little bunches on it this year. So I'll have to leave it a little bit longer. Then I'll select the best looking bunches and get rid of all the little ones um, so that the plant can concentrate its energy onto growing less bunches, but better quality bunches, hopefully. And my raspberry canes in there. It's a bit of a jungle now over here. I can't really see, but there's a huge rising plant in there. Um, I left four stalks last year, four canes. So they're the woody ones you can see there. The green ones have all grown this year. So that's a new one this year. And um, this produces raspberries on last year's canes. So I will have to leave another four this year. So I'll get raspberries next year. There's loads of flowers on it and they're starting to develop. Red ant here. Don't worry about the ants, they don't do any damage to the plant. They're just after the nectar and any aphids or whatever's on there. But we should have 
for them dear arse reason why next to it look I'm all up there so as long as I can keep this watered and fed they should all develop and it is only in a small pot so it does dry up pretty quick but just make sure it's fed and watered and there's no reason why you can't grow them in containers as you can see all these are in containers um, obviously they would do better in the ground but anything can be grown in a pot if it's big enough and you can give it enough water and food so these two here are currant bushes this one's a red currant and that one's just fell off it's gone a bit funny um, but at least I know now that this one's the red currant so I'll have to try and remember that so the bushier one of the two uh, the one with the smaller leaves is the red currant this one over here will be the black current then it's done loads of growth this year that one you can see from there where this green bit is all the way up here has grown this year so far and we're only in june and there is a few berries on this one but not as many as the red current And it's kind of a bit shaded over here. It does get some morning sun. So it's doing lots of growth, but not too much fruit. Uh, I did feed these all not so long ago, about three or four weeks ago. Uh, this one here I've left to grow to fill this gap. Because uh, we had a whole branch die last year. So this one here I'm going to leave to replace that. Uh, anything else that grows through the middle, like this one, uh, when it comes to pruning, I'll take that out. Because uh, we don't want these all growing up from down here. Uh, there's no harm in letting them grow, but as long as you keep the middle clear, uh, it just allows the air to flow. And reduces the chance of pests and mildew. And last thing here is the gooseberry again it's done lots of growing this year <clears throat> and we've got a fair few gooseberries on it see if there's a few there there's one up there almost ready that one so we might get a good little pun of gooseberries Yeah, they probably won't make it into the house though. Um, once we've moved to our permanent house, because uh, we're in a rental property, once we've moved, oh, we've got these in the ground, and then I'm going to let it get bigger. But all my fruit at the moment, I'm keeping it small by pruning it every year. So you can see there where I pruned it back last year. So all these that grow up this year, I'll have to chop it all back again. Uh, just because it can't get too big in a pot because there's only so much space for the roots to grow and the bigger it is in the pot the more root bound it'll get and the more you'll have to water it and the more you'll have to feed it and the plant will just suffer so just remember that the plant the top of the plant uh, the roots are going to want to be about the equivalent size so if you've got them all squashed up in a pot can't get much bigger than that without either getting a huge pot or putting it in the ground. Anyway, so that's the fruit area and everything outside. So, uh, I did say it's going to be a quick video, but it's looking like it's going to be quite a long one. Anyway, we we'll head into the greener, show you what's in there. Okay, so let's head into the green now. See my tomato plants there in the window, <laughs> and if you can hear a noise, it's because I've installed a fan because it gets so hot in here, uh, everything was suffering. So I've just got this little fan hooked up uh, to a little rechargeable battery pack. Uh, it's actually a little work light, uh, but it also is a battery pack. Uh, so this will run all day 
Uh, we're in the evening now and we're still on three bars and the battery hasn't even gone down at all. So I'll probably last about two days on that battery. That's just enough to allow the air to flow and it stops stuff going mouldy and it keeps the temperature down. It's been really hot today and it's only got up to 28.5. Sounds quite hot but before I put the fan in we were getting into the high 30s. Uh, I think one day it got to 41 Celsius and everything was getting frazzled so yeah that's my solution for now anyway so let's show you what's in there. So these are all flowers which I've grown from seed and there's various different types and well I'm having a battle with the slugs at the moment. Uh, they keep getting in here and destroying everything but these are all recovered now and you can see how much slug damage we've had but all this new growth at the top on most of them is looking okay um, I managed to find the slugs there was a couple about two or three slugs all huddled up underneath obviously waiting every night coming out and munching them uh, certain things they seem to love like these daisies, they munch them, we lost half of them. And I salvaged these ones. <coughs> and the gazanias and chrysanthemums. Again, we had a little bit of slug damage on these. Um, I try not to overwater things, but uh, when I go out for a day or so, uh, it's hard to keep things watered so I tend to just fill these up a bit with water and that may be my problem but let's see how they go see the green algae on here uh, this is just because there wasn't much airflow and maybe overwatering them a bit but anyway <clears throat> that's the flowers so my battery's almost dead, so I'm going to have to be really quick now. Uh, on this top shelf here is my peppers. Sweet CW is Carolina Wonder, California Wonder, California Wonder. And these were started April, I believe. Can't remember now. Uh, I didn't write a date on the new tags, but they're doing well. And my jalapenos are doing well. I'm a little bit behind on some things, but there's still plenty of time. These are catch up. Uh, even if you sowed them in February or something, uh, they wouldn't mean too much further ahead. And these will be healthier and they will catch up because I won't have to keep them warm. Uh, again, I've done the same thing with my sweet corn. Uh, started them later, so. 6th of the 5th these were put in and just look at them now I'm ready to go out soon and this is about when I would have planted them out before if I had started them earlier so um, this was my second sowing of tomatoes got four different varieties got five rumors five cherry red cherries costaluto fiorentino and tigerella so these were put in May as well and they're all doing well they've not long been transplanted but the roots are already starting to come through but they should be fine we'll just have to find places to plant these and my watermelons here the ones that haven't been munched again some of the ones at the back there slugs I've had but they should still recover. See, so this is this one's not been touched. Um, that's the difference between getting attacked by a slug or not. These ones here are fine. Uh, this one's had a little munch. That one at the back got almost chopped off. Again, with that one, but they should still bounce back eventually. We we'll just set them back a little bit. Uh, down here is cucumbers, this whole tray of cucumbers here, there's eight plants in there, uh, they're all the same variety. 
this uh i just read Vorg on here because it's a weird german name Vorgen Strymon, something like that blah blah uh but it doesn't really matter what the variety is because i know these are nice cucumbers because i grew them last year right the cucumbers you can keep on the dry side this pot's really light and quite dry in there uh, if you overwater the cucumbers they will go rotten at the stems so don't be afraid to let them almost dry out completely um, these here are shop bought canary melon and uh, this was just from a fruit that which i bought from the supermarket just stuck the seeds in to see what happened and they seem all right some of them have been munched again but i'm hoping it'll regrow from the middle uh, but if not i've got at least four there which look all right uh, this was the second sowing of sweet peppers uh, these were in the little plant pot if you remember little round plant pot i had all, them all in it and i separated these out a couple of days ago and you can see how quickly they bounce back they were looking quite unhealthy so that's all that all under there is just all my pots and seed trees and stuff like that these big pots here i quite like these and um, i've just started filling these up with some spare soil and stuff because uh, i'm going to put some tomatoes in here but compost expensive so anytime i empty a pot out or anything that goes in these i'll give it a mix in Put a bit of sharp sand in there and a bit of feed, fish blood and bone or something. Uh, this here is the um, soup berry or wash nut, whatever you want to call it, soup berry. Uh, I did a video on this, I bought this online and it was just a stick. And you can see, past few weeks from there, all the way up to here has grown. So. That's a foot of growth in about a month. But this won't produce any soap berries and for about three years, I think they said, uh, the place that I bought it. And uh, that's if it does at all. Uh, this is, it is cold hardy, but only down to minus five. So we'll have to leave it in the greenhouse throughout the winter. Uh, it is deciduous, so it will lose its leaf. Uh, we've just got to keep that alive through the first winter which is going to be the main problem now uh, once it's a bit more established uh, it should be fine but hopefully we haven't got it quite early in the year it'll have time to establish before winter anyway um last but not least is my first sowing of tomatoes um, i've given most of these away uh, to friends and stuff uh, i've kept six so I've got two Romans, two Red Cherries, a Targarella, and the Cross, Cross Luto Fiorentino, which is an Italian beefsteak. And they're all looking all right, some better than others. Uh, they were suffering a bit because I left them a bit long to repot. Uh, but I'm sure they'll bounce back. These ones here are looking fine. Uh, this one here is sulking a little bit. Yeah, the leaves curl up and that, that's just due to the temperature fluctuations. That one's looking alright, a little bit small. That one got a bit leggy. Uh, but I did bury them deeper when I planted them. Uh, because the tomatoes will root from the stem. So you can bury all this if you want. And it will root and make the plant stronger. Anyway, uh, one last thing before we go is the herb planter here various different types of herbs parsley mint sage uh, lemon balm chives all sorts this mint's just taken over these things here little peppermint uh, if you could smell what i'm smelling now this stuff smells amazing it smells just like back polos spearmint polos <laughs> and it's taken over almost the whole of this top planter here but never mind i just have to harvest it and use it i think
bees and me. Anyway, so that's it for today's update. Uh, keep an eye out for the next video because I'll probably be updating on my trees. There's a jet just about to fly over. Cat there, some moving. I don't know if you can hear that jet going over. Anyway, guys, I'll flip me around, say goodbye, and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, everyone, so uh, that's it for today's video. Uh, just updated you on everything I've got growing at the moment, minus my trees, because uh, I want to do a separate series for them. Because I know a lot of people aren't really interested in trees and bushes. Um, I want to keep the fruit and veg separate. So if you are interested, just keep an eye out. I've got a separate playlist for the tree videos as well. Um, but that's it for today. So I just updated you on every all the fruit and veg. And yeah, I don't think I missed anything. <laughs> that was a rather long video. I do apologise. Anyway, so thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you on the next one. Hope you all have a great week. See you later.